This is a uh, popcorn. She is uh, approximately 11 to 12 year old female regal horned lizard. And uh, she was a rescue uh, who came to me uh, about six years ago or so uh, for sanctuary after she had been cap captured out in the uh, Arizona desert by a, a game hunter and um, she has been in uh, uh, declining health recently uh, most likely just due to old age but her health had really begun to uh, start failing I could see in the last couple days and uh, about an hour or so ago she went into uh, uh, respiratory and cardiac arrest and she did not have a heartbeat and she was not breathing and uh, what I did was uh, gave her a small injection of epinephrine and uh, gave her some chest compressions intubated her here with uh, this small vet bond uh, surgical glue uh, applicator tip it's, uh, it's a, a clean applicator tip. Intubated her with that and uh, gave her rescue breaths. And uh, a few minutes ago, I began giving her uh, some of this oxygen here. Uh, got a small bottle of compressed uh, boost oxygen here. And uh, after giving her uh, three uh, lungfuls of the, uh, the oxygen, uh, she began... Uh, self-respiration again uh, after about five minutes this this was after I had uh, reestablished her her heartbeat after uh, giving her a few rescue breaths and some uh, some small chest compressions uh, she uh, her heartbeat returned and as you can see right there you can see her heart beating right there underneath her uh, breastplate And uh, that was uh, not beating. Uh, she had no heartbeat again when I when I found her, and I gave her what I call micro chest compressions, uh, a heart massage. I use my thumb, and uh, I'll just gently stroke upwards, down, and upwards. Her heartbeat came back, and uh, then uh, as soon as that, as soon as that happened, I uh, I got her on oxygen and a heating pad here and uh, she's on low low heat and she's begun again self-respiration again so uh, this is a good sign um, not for sure typically I don't have a lot of success uh, keeping them alive in, in the long term after resuscitating them but uh, I, I do have a, a pretty good uh, record of being able to resuscitate them and um, uh, every now and then I'm successful with uh, uh, with a with a treatment that will uh, uh, prolong their their life and uh, they uh, recover uh, uh, on occasion. It's still a, a low a low percentage, but uh, this is all uh, about learning. As long as uh, as long as I don't believe that she's suffering unduly and that uh, there there may be a chance of recovery for her, then I will treat her. Every time that I, I do run across a situation like this where I uh, I uh, resuscitate a, a reptile, uh, I learn new techniques that uh, that uh, uh, cause me to make improvements in my treatments that uh, uh, can help other patients later on down the road. And uh, I found that after years and years of working with uh, aquatic turtles who had uh, uh, horribly fractured shells where they were upwards of 90% uh, not surviving uh, uh, three days to a week. And uh, in continuing to treat them anyway and uh, manage their pain and manage inflammation, uh, I've learned techniques which have now greatly increased my uh, success rate at 
treating those cases and now some of those turtles are actually I have one now that previously in, in years past he probably would have expired and it's been uh, about three months now and he's still alive and uh, eating so I am going to uh, give her the rest of the evening here because sometimes it can take quite a while for them to uh, uh, recover after they go into a, a cardiac and a respiratory distress like this and uh, I caught her very quickly I uh, was actually uh, working on a, a dose of uh, some meds for her at the time and so I had like a five minute window there where uh, I know she she was not deprived of oxygen as far as relative to a reptile uh, any more than about five minutes or so which uh, uh, given how quickly I was able to resuscitate her and get her to uh, breathing again, uh, this is a good indication that she's probably not suffered any kind of uh, uh, brain damage. And so I will see how she uh, does with her recovery over the next few hours and then um, make a determination from there on whether I need to uh, continue to assist her with the recovery or not. Since she's breathing on her own, though, I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, intubation tube out. But uh, intermittently, I will probably go ahead and uh, uh, inflate her lungs with uh, a little bit of this uh, oxygen. I'll, uh, I'll post an update on this uh, if there's uh, anything to update later. This is an update on Popcorn, the regal horn lizard. Again, she's uh, been uh, self-respirating and uh, her heart has stayed beating for, uh, uh, it's been a, a couple of hours. Her, uh, her respiration is a little labored and uh, I've seen a little, little blood uh, come up off the uh, intubation tube here uh, that uh, seems to be coming up from her lungs. Um, uh, she may have a uh, respiratory infection. I, uh, I noticed she's had some labored breathing for the last couple of days and I uh, actually put her on Batrol yesterday. But um, as you can see she is uh, she's now conscious Although she's not, you know, she's not tip top, but there she has her eyes open. She is still weak. I'm going to roll her back onto her back here. That tends to de-stress them a little bit. And so this will be for ease of... Uh, being able to see her respiration and give uh, intubate her and give her more oxygen if I need to but she is now um, conscious and responsive but uh, we'll see I'll continue to uh, treat her throughout the night and um, see how she uh, uh, she seems to be stable at this point compared to where she was a few hours ago, but uh, we'll see how she progresses throughout the night. I'll, I'll be up with her for uh, quite a bit. When I get a situation like this, um, uh, they'll, uh, she'll, she'll go, uh, in other words, uh, in, a, in a little box with a heating pad uh, next to my bed, and I'll be waking up throughout the night uh, checking on her. And um, She is uh, quite an old horn lizard. Um, my best estimate is that she is at least 10 years old and she could be 12 or more years old. Um, I've, I've had her for five years and uh, I estimated her age to be uh, at least five years old when she arrived here in um, 2007. But um, we'll uh, know more uh, as to her recovery tomorrow and I've got additional treatments um, I'm going to start but uh, I'll uh, update you as I have uh, something more to update on her